Eric Hunting has had it with the way that people are going about 3D printing buildings. In a recent open manufacturing thread on Google Groups, he started working at ways to improve 3D house printing. Hunting's two main concerns about 3D construction are related to the materials being used and the proposed methods of construction. For instance, USC's Contour Crafting Group and a recent Chinese endeavor have focused on 3D printing with concrete, which Hunting believes introduces some unnecessary weight restrictions. Additionally, the industry's focus on the printing of entire buildings on location makes 3D construction cost prohibitive for anyone without access to a lot of money. As for printing materials, Hunting proposes the use of recycled composites. He suggests that using such materials would yield composable houses with the look, feel, workability, sound, characteristics, and even smell of natural wood. In addition, rather than 3D printing entire large-scale buildings on location, Hunting discusses the possibility of 3D printing micro-homes, potentially using a robotic arm or a robo-crane. With a robo-crane, Hunting believes that individuals with less capital would be able to construct small building components in a two-car garage. It seems that Ohio University may already have a patent for something similar to what Hunting is suggesting though that doesn't mean that he can't pursue it in non-commercially. Regardless of the patent, Hunted brings up an important point. Will 3D construction be constrained by a prerequisite of large capital investment? Or can the maker community develop some low-cost, open-source solution to 3D print buildings in order for the technology to be applied in the places and situations this technology might benefit? <laughs>